some feelings in this church with you today. I'm going to open this door because you can put them out. Because Christianity ain't about what you feel. Amen. Amen. Or what you think. Christianity is about what God, God said. Amen. 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 I am a steward over the mysteries of God. Every now and then I slow down to try to teach somebody salvation. But if I study the scripture 500 times and you only read it one time, you're not going to know it like I know it. Right, right. right. Amen. Because every time I read it, God going to reveal something Amen. deeper Amen. to me. Right. Right. So if I stay in the Bible all the time, I'm going to walk closer to God right. Amen. That's right. than most people do. That's right. So I study three hours a night, seven days a week. I can't help that God gave me that appetite. Whatever you feel like you need in the word of God is up to you. Whatever faith you feel like you want to operate in God, that's up to you. However you feel like you are going to serve God, that's up to you. I, I, I can't operate on you. I can't do nothing about that. But I, I, I can pour out the gift that God gave me. And the gift that God gave me was to pour in the soul. And so I tell you the truth because God has signaled me to say, don't worry about how they look at you. You just hold that truth. Amen. Right, right on that line. Right. Well, see, I want to go to hell on myself. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. So, so I'm, I'm not just going to tell you, when, 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 when we look at the Bible, we're taking the Bible and we're making a mockery out of the Bible. That's right. Because when you look at Genesis, the first chapter, the second mm -hmm. chapter, it said that God worked six days. <laughs> and then it said, stop. This is what God did. Jesus made the statement in the new covenant. He said, I didn't come to do away with the law. That's right. He said, I came to fulfill the law. That's right. But that six days should I let me do all that work in the seventh day. God give us six days and on seventh day, we can't even give him. Right. Yeah. Right. And so when did God do away with that? When did God do away with the Ten Commandments? He did not do away with the Ten Commandments. He said, I'm going to fulfill the Ten Commandments, and I'm going to put them in your heart. Yes. Come on now. Well, man, we'll come in and see when you make a vow to God, this is how we come. See, when we come to a specific place, and we put God's name on it, and we say, this is where we're going to serve God at. This is where we're going to give sacrifices to God. At. This is where we're going to sing hymns to God. At. Uh -huh. This is where we're going to reverence God. At. That's right. So we come to this place mm -hmm. on the seventh day mm -hmm. because we want to keep God holy. Mm -hmm. So that means if we have bowed this place to God, that means it becomes sanctified. Yes. Because it's, it's bowed to God. That's why America is going through what it's going through because it was bowed to God and it turned from God. So, therefore, when you look, the grounds is holy. The house is holy. And we'll say we love God. But John 14, 15 say the way that God knows you love him is if you obey him. If you're not obeying him,
I'll be on my job on time. Mm -hmm. Whatever my boss asks me to do, I'm going to do. Because that's my job. But the only thing your boss don't, the only shit you and your boss got is he can pay you some money. Come on. The only thing you can do in this world is get paid for your desires. Come on. But to the person that will dedicate to buy the car, to buy the house, to have the bank account, contributes nothing towards God. You ain't did nothing towards God yet, but you invest thousands of dollars in the car to go to the job. <coughs> you will be at the job on time. Amen. And over here, it says study to show yourself approved. Yeah. Live by every word that received out of the mouth of God. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Well, yet still, at time, when it comes time to open the door for your assignment in the natural world, you never late. Right. But over here, oh, I'll go to church next week, <laughs> week after this. It don't matter whether I'm there or not. It don't matter whether it's the Sabbath day and you can buy to keep it sacred. It don't matter whether or not he said forsake not. Go sit with your yeah. sister together, especially as you see the time for it. It don't matter about none of that. But if your boss told you over here, you had to do it. You do everything he tell you, and he can't do nothing but pay you some money. Amen. Go ahead. Right. Uh -huh. Won't talk. Come on. Because I'm going to tell you something. Now I'm going to go to the Bible and I'm going to show you some stuff. Because I don't care. Because I'm trying to go to hell. I don't care what you want to do on your assignment, how you want to do it. I'll try my best to show you compassion. But if you don't want to listen to God, you show T.I. years ain't going to listen to me. Amen. My word is going to tell you. Yeah. So now, let me explain something. If there are 10 people in a church, and everybody in that church, all 10 people loving God, and they know this is God's house and this is where we keep God's house sacred at. Then all ten people is supposed to be serving towards upkeep of God's house. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Right? That's true. Right? Yeah. No! Yeah. I can go to the natural house and everything is intact. The grass don't even get out of life. <laughs> Come to God's house, they'll walk past the same piece. 25 times, don't nobody say, I'm going to pay somebody to put that bike up there. But we love mm -hmm. the Amen. Lord. Yeah. But when I look at your house, mm -hmm. your car, mm -hmm. your clothes, mm -hmm. your desires, mm -hmm. everything is intact. Mm -hmm. But when I look at the invisible God's house, oh my God. what you got for God, you don't care how it look, mm -hmm. you don't care what, but you love. The Lord. Yeah. You will stay on God's sacred ground. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. All oh, they carry on like God ain't sitting up high looking low. Yeah. Right down and recording everything you're saying, but you say you on assignment for God. If you on assignment for God, then fear Him. Yeah. Amen. Yes. yes. Hallelujah. Come on. Mm. Somebody like. Hallelujah. Because if you on assignment for God, you obey God. Don't make no mistake about it. Don't, don't come certain to me. Because I'm gonna tell you right now, when you look, when I look up and see you coming, if you coming in you with your feelings, I'm gonna tell you right then you better go back. Because that ain't what that ain't what I can run with. <laughs> Let me explain something to you. You either gonna obey God. You either go open there. How would it look for God to uphold me who doing everything that they can for him and then take somebody that's going to disrespect him, unbelieve him, they're not going to study, they're not going to devote themselves to him, and he's going to uphold them. How would that look? Huh? God can't be inconsistent with himself. That's right. If you're not going to believe him and obey him, there's no way he gonna hold you the way he gonna hold somebody that will obey. Amen. Amen. Let me go a little deeper. 
Y'all know the sign of Jonah. Do y'all know what sign? The sign of Jonah is one of the mysteries of God about this season that we're living in. But y'all know the story of Jonah, right? Okay, Jonah was told by God to go to him with the preach. Jonah said, hey, <coughs> Don't tell God. I ain't going. Mm -hmm. Now there was a man with a perfectly good shield. Mm -hmm. Had a job hauling cargo. Mm -hmm. Jonah wouldn't got on this man's shield. Be careful how you take mm -hmm. people on the board right. mm -hmm. that's walking against God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. My Lord. Amen. Let me see God right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jonah was a man of God. Mm -hmm. But at the time that he got on that man's boat, he wasn't in agreement with God. Right. He was disobeying That's God. Right. Amen. 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 That's right. He got on that man's boat. Yes, he did. And God began to say, okay, Jonah, mm -hmm. this man don't know what's going on, but I'm going to teach you something. All right. mm -hmm. The wind started rocking this man's boat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Started that book. The captain said, What in the world? So he told his workman, Everybody pray to your God. Jonah would lay down in the belly of the ship sleep. Huh? Jonah lay down in the belly of the ship sleep. The wind got so rough, the man said, Throw everything overboard. Jonah said, but it's the reason why his ship is going through what it's going through. It's because he got a man. Ah, that's right. Instead of walking obedient to God, it's walking in disobedience. Yes. So this man began to throw everything. All his stuff. Overboard. Then one of the men said, hey. There's a man down there in the belly of the ship. <laughs> That's down in their sleep. Uh -huh. They say, go wake him up. Catch him breaking his guard. <laughs> Jonah comes up. <laughs> looked at what was going on and immediately knew. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> that he was walking against God. Mm -hmm. And what was going on was God was chastising him. Yes. And to chastise him, he took the men he was in company with. Right. Come on, come on. <laughs> yeah. Why? Because disobedience. When you latch on to disobedience, I'm going to prove it, I'm going to prove it. When you latch on to people that will become gods to themselves and they'll do what they want to do when yeah. they want to do it, you better be careful how you pick yes. up. Amen. 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 Because when God comes and deal with they in your vicinity, yes. you're going to find yourself throwing your fingers right. over the yes. Amen. Amen. So then, Josh Jonah comes up. Mm. He tells the captain, uh, mm. you, 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 you ain't got to throw no more stuff uh. over the I think you want your problem solved. Mm -hmm. I think you need to throw me over. Right. Mm -hmm. And God will stop. Right, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They throw Jonah overboard. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. If they see the right storm now. stop. Yeah. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Here's the deal. If I were to ask the question, how many Christians do I have in here right now? I will get some people to raise their hand, and I'm not going to ask that question because I don't want to go there. Mm -hmm. But the Bible says that a Christian okay. lives by every word That's right. that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Mm -hmm. The Bible said a Christian takes the Holy Scriptures mm -hmm. to shape their Christianity by rebuking, by correcting, by being instructed. That's, right. That's, That's right. what the Bible says. The Bible says, yes. the Bible says in Paul's writings that a Christian is not one that puts Christianity on and puffs himself up. Up in the go, up in the go, up in the go, up in the go. Yeah, a Christian ain't one that just puts the title on and gets into what they think is Christianity and rap out and say, I'm a Christian and walk puffed up. I'm living what I'm doing. That's not Christianity. 
Go ahead. That's not what the Bible says, Christianity. The Bible says Christianity will reach down to where Travis is. Yes, right. yes. And pick him up. Yes. Amen. And make him a different creature. Yes. That's what Christianity is. Amen. But Travis can't do it. Nope. Unless he knows who God is. Amen. Right. That sign back there says, Lord, fill me with your spirit mm -hmm. of wisdom and revelation. I want to know you. Mm -hmm. You ain't going to know God without his word. That's right. And That's God right. ain't going to know you if he look in you and don't see his right. word. Right. Right. Go ahead. Uh -huh. Because the Bible says, if you deny me before me, yeah. I deny you before my God. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So what I got? 7.5 billion people on the earth. Snoop Dogg is a Christian. Tyler Perry is a Christian. Beyonce is a Christian. But ain't nobody <laughs> living by the word of God. I'm finna go in a minute. I'm finna go in a minute. I'm setting the foundation. I'm finna go in. But how can all these people be Christians when they're not living by God, who is his word? Amen. Is God his word? Yes, it is. He is? Yes. Did, he, did he say, let me hide my word you know. in your heart? Yes. Did he say that? Yes, sir. Why would he want to hide his word in my heart so when he look at me, right. he can see him sick? That's right. right. Amen. If he looks at me, and he don't look at what I say, he looks at my heart. That's what I say about. If he looks at me and sees disobedience, right. unbelieving, mm -hmm. right. leading to my own understanding, right. mm -hmm. in my heart, do you think he going to do something for me that he would do for someone no. that's abiding in the word, in the word, abiding in them? Do you think he's supposed to do for a rebellious person oh, no. what he'll do for a person that's obedient? Oh, no. Huh? There's so many Christians, huh, shining on the mind, ain't got no forgiveness in their heart. Come on, and they're walking around Come like they're on Come assignment on. for God and carrying an assignment of Satan. They ain't love one other brother because they ain't got no love for God. Because if they had love for God, they obey what God said. And you can't tell me that you ain't got to obey God then you're going to be a Christian. You can't tell me. True. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You got to deny yourself. Pick up your cross and follow him. If you are not willing to put the whole you on your cross, then get up. When you come straight down now. <laughs> Instead of coming in with the spirit of God and with a sacrifice for God, you come in with an emotion called envy, strife, and jealousy. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hallelujah. You would expect that to be at the Oscars Award where Snoop Dogg will go. But they sent your dresses up. Come on, come on. That's what you expect that to be. You don't expect that to be in a house where you lay aside for God. Amen. Where you say you reverence God. Where you say you bring sacrifices to God. Oh, I'm going to blow your mind in a minute. But I ain't ready right now. But I'm going to take you there and show you something that the Bible says. So now I want you to understand something. When you are a Christian, Kevin, when you are a Christian, Katie, here's what happens. God sent Jesus to summon you for salvation. Mm -hmm. But he didn't want you to stay at salvation gazing, no. saying I'm saved. Mm -hmm. Because we're supposed to understand and be prepared to help God with other souls. Yes. That's why they can't be an apostle of today. Oh, yeah, I see it. Then I might go here. Let me, let me explain it to you. Let me explain it to you. The apostle was one that God called to the third heaven, gave revelation to. And then he came and entered him into the Bible. And what the pastor teaching the evangelists do is they go see what Apostle Paul has to say. They go see what Prophet Isaiah has to say. See, because we know that we know that we know that the apostle of the Bible and the prophet of the Bible was sent by God. If I come and tell you that I am an apostle, I'm telling you that God took me to the third heaven and gave me a message. That means there ain't 66 books in the Bible. That means there's 67 books in the Bible because an apostle had to walk with Jesus. Come on. Let me 
we gonna break this thing down. Okay. So, so what I'm actually telling you is, is this: when the when the apostle Paul, who did not walk with Jesus, mm -hmm. that's right. That's right. Amen. Come on. God knocked him down. Right. Yes, sir. He was the last apostle. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The last apostle was Paul because God, not Jesus, sent Paul with a message. Not Jesus. God did. Acts 9. You want to read it? Acts 9. Okay, here's the deal. After Paul shared two thirds, he said, Well, I was in the body, but what I was out of the body, I do not know. But he took me to the third heaven. Huh? Is that not right? Okay, now. Y'all help me if I'm wrong. But the least ain't one in here gonna know I'm telling you the truth. Everybody now, from the pastor teacher, to the evangelist, <coughs> to the trustee, to the deacon, to the elder, to the doctor got the same message. Oh, right. Amen. 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 Guess what that message is? The good news gospel. That's right. Same message. Same message. Same one. Same message. Right. It was so bad he walked. God showed the apostle Paul that he didn't walk with Peter and them, but when he went to the read your Bible, when he went to the building to tell Peter and them what God had told him, he walked in there with an anointing from God, and when he walked in the building, he said, Peter, Cornelius, I got to talk to you. Right, right. They didn't know Paul, <laughs> but that spirit that was in Paul. That anointing that was on Paul. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Peter didn't say, what you got to say? Till then, Peter didn't, couldn't even go away from around Israel. That's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Till then, Peter didn't, didn't have a message to even go away from around Israel. That's right. Huh? That's right. So when he got in there, Paul opened his mouth, and that anointing mm -hmm. began to fall out. Now, Peter could have said, you did not walk with us. But that anointing on his spirit was so high, Peter said, Woo! Right. I see that. Up until that time, Peter would not even sit down and eat with, <laughs> with an unclean person that was not a Jew. <laughs> but after Paul walked in there, he spent all day with him. He spent all day with him. Peter said, This man is just a show come from God. Is there anything I've ever known? Amen. And Peter began to preach what God showed Paul. Mm -hmm. So he gives you in Ephesians 4. Read your Bible. I'm giving you a mystery. I give you the apostle, the prophet, the evangelist, the pastor. Mm -hmm. The teacher. Mm -hmm. If the prophet was Daniel, if the prophet was Isaiah, mm -hmm. then God told Isaiah and Daniel to tell us what we were going to see in our time. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we know that God sent them mm -hmm. as yeah. laid by your seals right, right. that Amen. saw into the future because they didn't have a body. That's right. God used the prophet. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, watch this. When he tells you, I use, the, I give you the apostle the prophet as the foundation. The foundation is when it starts out. So the apostle shows up in Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Yes. And did you know Jesus is an apostle? Amen. Yeah. Because Jesus came to the earth with a message. Mm -hmm. Now, how can man in 2022 equal himself to Jesus? Come on. If Jesus is an apostle, what would I want to raise myself up <laughs> to say I'm an apostle after all Jesus went through That's to right. get his message? Right. Huh? Amen. So I look at the scriptures and what apostle says. And I look at what apostle and the prophet says. And I can pass the teach it. Mm -hmm. I can evangelize with it. But I can't add a new message to it. No. Oh, no. no. That makes me not an apostle. That's fine. Right. That's fine. Right. Come on. That's kind of <laughs> So Revelation said they say that they are apostles. Mm -hmm. And they are liars. Yeah. 
Because man can't claim what only God can give. That's right. Ooh, if God didn't anoint you to give it, you asking for trouble to sit yourself up here. And God ain't sent you up here. Right. It's best for you to come back down from there right. and right. say, God, forgive me. Yeah. I elevated myself. That's right. He says, if you are a base, I will exalt you. Yeah. But if you, yeah. he going to bring you down. Yes, come on. And if you don't listen when he start bringing you down, yeah. Ooh, yes, he going to knock you in with love. So you might well go to Leviticus 26. Come on. Let me go on and prove what I'm talking about. Okay. See, because Leviticus 26 tells you, God will look at you and say, if you're not going to listen to me, tell, yeah. tell. he said, I'm going to slap you. That's right. He said, that I slap you. If you don't listen then, he said, I'm going to slap you seven times seven. Yes, sir. A lot of Christians are shooting themselves in the foot of their own salvation because God is slapping on them and they still walk in contrast. Amen. Amen. Come on. That's what God wants me to do. Mm -hmm. When we go to Leviticus 26, tell me what Leviticus 26, 15 says in your Bible. I know what it says in the Bible. And if he shall despise my statue. What did you say? You say, go ahead, Joe. If he shall despise my statue, or if your soul offer my judgment, so that ye will not do all my commandments, but that ye break my covenant. I also will do this unto you. Mm -hmm. I will even appoint over you terror. That's right. That's right. And the burning oh, that shall consume the eyes and cause sorrow of heart. Stop right here. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me tell you the mystery in there. When he says, I will get you with consumption, <laughs> you'll be doing fine. And God will draw his hand back. That's right. Because you are not applying his statutes to your soul. And all God is trying to do is save your soul. Amen. But you don't want to listen to him. God said, you don't want to listen to me? He says, consumption is going to get you. Mm -hmm. So when consumption comes on you, let me tell you what the job of consumption is. When consumption comes on you, it takes your body deep down into a covering. That is against healing. Amen. So it might be sickness. But you don't know that God That's right. is mad because you're not listening. Amen. Amen. So you don't pay attention to the consumption. Read the next. Come on. Mm. And ye shall sow your seed in vain, and your enemies shall eat it. Mm -hmm. Woo! You shall sow your seeds, and your enemy gonna eat your seed because your seed ain't no good. Yeah. Why? Why is he doing that? Because you ain't listening to me. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's gonna get worse. He says something. Wait a minute. He's the first strike against you. Is he gonna let consumption touch your body? Mm -hmm. You ain't paying no attention yet. <laughs> then the enemy begins to eat everything you sow. Mm -hmm. Seems like nothing you're doing is working for you. Read the next. <laughs> well, I left off the burning all, all, and that shall consume the eyes. It said the what? The burning all that shall consume the eyes. Your eyes shall be consumed. Mm -hmm. What your eyes got to do? Oh, is he going to consume your natural eyes or your spiritual eyes? Spiritual, spiritual eyes. Oh, so you ain't going to have no eyes of understanding even what's happening to you. You're going to still be walking. Blank, blank. Blank. <laughs> against God. That's right. And he's trying to get your attention. Read the next one. And call sorrow of heart. 
read this, and ye shall sow your seed in vain, and your enemy shall eat it. And I will set my face against you, mm -hmm. and shall be slain before your enemy. God said, he'll set his face. Ooh, Jesus. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Read the next one. See, you're getting worse. Oh, he really, he really been to slap you now. Amen. You read that now. He really been to slap you now. He really been to slap something on you now that you ain't gonna want. What he say in the next one? That they hate you shall reign over you, and ye shall flee when none pursueth you. You should be running when nobody pursues. Mm -hmm. Let me explain to you. I ain't got to run from my enemy. No. I ain't got to run from a principality. Oh, no. I ain't got to fear a devil. No. I can walk in hell and shit right. with the blood of Jesus on it, every demon in the book. Yeah. Yeah, right. right. Why? Because I got the victory of the cross. Right. And I know who I am. Right. But when you don't know who you are, you will feel everything. Yes. And you will tell others to fear it. When what is they to fear in God but fear in I got to hear up because I got to get to this other part. Go ahead. And if ye shall, if ye will not yet for all this hearkening to me. Now, wait a minute. Do you understand everything he's doing so far mm -hmm. is to get your attention? That's right. The consumption. Right. The sowing of your seeds and your enemy getting it, he's trying to get your attention to tell you you are headed the wrong way. Yeah. Now, yeah. he's down here in this part where he's saying, okay, you ain't going to let me get your attention. Tell me what he's going to do. Then I will punish you seven times more for your sins. Amen. And I will break the pride of your power. Tell and it. I will make your heaven and honor and your earth and bread. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. No, no, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. This is God. That's why Jonah called them people ship to be shipwrecked because Jonah walked in the wrong way. And God said, okay, Jonah, I'll get your attention. He said, but I ain't only going to get you. I'm going to get them, you in the company. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Come on. So God can know you take that with your coat and cast it out before the dog. Mm -hmm. And you taking this blessing he's giving you, and you going over there because you're a pastor. And you're going to take that with his holy, and you're going to let the dogs just trample on it because you want to show compassion to everybody. He said, when one of the household of faith comes to you and have need, don't pray for them and send them away. Right. He never told you to go out there and uphold an unbeliever right. and they want to trample on what God said. If they don't want God going, then they better get the God that you serve. Come on. But if you want to come at what you hope that God is blessing you with, he'll try up your blessing. You better ask right. Jonah. You better ask Jonah. Amen. He'll try up your blessing. But what we do, born again Christian. I saw the man standing down there at the corner. I gave him 20 dollars. <laughs> and up come Pastor Samson and look, saw you handing the, the holy 20. And seen him when he went into the store and come out with the spike for 40. Hey, <laughs> 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 your holy, you think you did something. That's right. Go right. so over and lay in the woods till he finished that. Tell it. Boy, yeah. Yeah. go come back down and take another Christian's there way. There you go. And go back over there in the woods <laughs> and drink that other boy. Right. Go get drunk all day on Holy Road. That's right. Because they're not listening to God. Amen. That's right. That's right. What God blessed you for was to show a lost and dying world that you belong to Him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. We give it more to the world. Tell Then we give him the Amen. Okay, okay. Amen. That's right. Okay, Hallelujah. Now. You said, he said seven times. Mm -hmm. You read that out of your Bible. That ain't my Bible. Let <laughs> me see in your Bible too, if we want to read it. Amen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Read the next passage for me. That is seven times. And 
I will break the pride of your power, and I will make your heaven as iron and your earth as brass. Read this. And your strength shall be spent in vain, for your land shall not yield your her increase, neither shall the trees of the land yield their fruit. Mm -hmm. Well, you're knocking, ain't you? Yes, sir. Yes. Do you think I want to mess with God? Oh, no. Do you think I want to? Just tell you something, sister. You know what I'm doing, right? Men and women is a fool. Amen. To play with God. Hallelujah. They fool. Amen. You know why? Because you simply just shut. Keisha. I can tell God, God, I ain't got that. Like, That's right. I ain't got to pretend I got something. Because he'll meet me. He'll meet me where I'm at. All right. I ain't got that. If I ain't got it, God forgive me. He said, if I confess it, he will forgive. Hallelujah. But when I ain't got that, I ain't got no problem. And he whooping my. Yeah. Tell him. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> Hold me. Hold me. Hold me. Towards me. 
His mercies is His love yes. Yes. towards me. His forgiveness yes. towards me. Yes. His understanding yes, towards me. His yes. saving yes. towards me. His son towards yes. me. His wisdom towards me. Yes. His mercies is everything that He gives in order for me to be and get to where He wants me to be. Amen. If I don't use His mercies, I can never present myself to be holy and acceptable to Him, but I will present my body to be on assignment for Amen. God's mercy. Amen. Oh, you, didn't get all that out of there, you didn't get all that out of there, did you? When you read that, you skip past the mercies of God. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But see, the key to it is by. Mm -hmm. Be why. <laughs> he said, by these mercies. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can present. Okay, you ready? You got me there? Because I'm going to shoot you, I'm going to shoot you to a dimension that's out of this world. You ready now? He said, by these mercies. Mm -hmm. Turn the song nine more. That's right. Oh, my God. Yes. I'm going to shoot you right on up to the top of the throne. But you ain't going to get there unless you realize what the mercies and put your mercies on and walk in the mercy. It's a mercy that when I'm back in an era that I can say, Father, in the name of Jesus, yes, sir. forgive me, Lord. Yes. Yes, Glory. He said, but if you don't accept that mercy, if Get you can't up. forgive, Get you up. sure can't be forgiven. No sir. And I need forgiveness because I gotta mess up seven times. Seven. Uh, Can you hear what I said? I gotta mess up. Can you hear what I said? I gotta mess up seven times. I know y'all ain't like that, but I'm gonna tell you, Keisha, I gotta mess up seven times. Seven Amen. Days. So if I'm gonna mess up seven times, seven a day, I need all the mercy I can get. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Glory. Now watch this. I'm gonna show you another mystery. You ready? Let me know when you're ready. <laughs> Let me show you another mystery. Here's what it says. Here's what it says. He that dwells mm -hmm. in the secret place of the Most High. Come yeah. on. Yeah. And abide. Yeah. Under the shadow. Yeah. Under the Almighty. Yes. Yes. Do y'all know what that says? Mm -hmm. Do y'all know what that says? Mm -hmm. yes, yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. One is God and the other one is Jesus. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now let me explain it to you. I take the mercy of God. Mm -hmm. I say, yes, Lord, because see, it's a, it's, a, it's a gift that I have salvation. I ain't earned it. No. God gave it to me. I can put salvation on. Mm -hmm. I can take another mercy called abiding. Mm -hmm. I can take another mercy called studying. Right. And I can study to show myself approved yeah. to the Lord. Right. I can look for him wholeheartedly. See, because he's giving me mercy. Uh -huh. How I respond to his mercy is up to me. Mm -hmm. I can do it wholehearted, half-hearted. Right, right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can do it any kind of way. I can respond to him any kind of way. But what Psalm 91 is saying, that if you're going to dwell, see the word is dwell. Mm -hmm. If you're going to dwell in the secret place, you got to accept the mercies Amen. because putting on of the mercies of God is what allows you to stand in the secret place work, of the work most it. high. Putting on the mercies of God yes. is what allows you to abide in the shadow of the Almighty. Yes, when you take the mercies of God and place them on the body that you're going to present to the Lord holy and acceptable. You can dwell in the secret place yes, of the Most High. You can abide under the shadow Where of the Almighty. Yeah. And when you get down there on 91 2, he's saying, I'll be your fortress. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. A common Christian cannot dwell mm -mm. in the secret place. Yeah. No. Because when the wind blows this way, <laughs> <laughs> their head will be way over here with the building. That's right. And 
and then we'd be way over there. Yeah. Then the wind changed direction. <laughs> and they're way over here. You never know where they're coming from. That's right. Because you never see them stay fast. In removal. See, when you talk about dwelling mm -hmm. in the secret place of the most high, you talk about somebody that's rooted. Amen. Amen. You talk about somebody that knows God and God knows them. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Now read 90. 91, 2 and 3 for me, please. And I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge my and my fortress, my God, in Him will I trust. Ah. Surely, surely, He shall surely. deliver thee from the snares of the fowl and from the noisiness of pestilence. You see, listen, listen, baby, I, I, I can't let you miss this. He says if you are dwelling in the secret place, if you are abiding in the shadow of the Almighty, he said, I shall. He said, I shall. He said, I shall. He said, I shall. Amen. Deliver you. Is that what he said? Glory to God. When you're in that secret place, it's a fortress for you. Yes, sir. But you got to get in there. Amen. You got to get in that secret place. You can't. Mm. Hey, look around here. Look around. Look around. Six days should not let me do all that work. He's going to wake you up and give you six days. And right. then on the seventh day, you can't stop Tell and it. give him his. That's right. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Help us, Lord. Help us, God. The mysteries of God. Mm. Mm -hmm. For the adult believer, you're supposed to be a steward Amen. over the secret things of God. And let me tell you what the secret things of God. You should not be playing around with envy, strife, and jealousy when Jesus is about to come back. That's right. And there's so many souls out right there. Right. Go ahead. Go Amen. ahead. That's right. Right. They're fighting. That's right. Envy, strife, get off me. <laughs> Y'all don't say that. I'm shit on you. Say, get out of me. You ain't even got no business this lady in the game. That's right. That's right. Fighting with envy and strife and jealousy when God told you to fight against principalities, That's right. rulers of darkness, yes, spirits of wickedness, yes, and stand against Satan, Thanks. and you still fighting with something you got on you. Hallelujah. Mm. Come on now. No. Uh, help us, Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay, help 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 Come on, free family. Oh, sure. Work work it, work it, work it. Every strife and jealousy is something you got on the flesh. That's serpent fighting. That's right. That's it. Hey. It's time that we be standing up against Satan and principality and the rulers of darkness, and I'm still coming in the church fighting it. Stop. And you got the power to reach it to the Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Man needs a savior. Yes. yes. And man can't save himself. No. Why in the world would you let me cause you to go to hell hmm. because you don't want to forgive me? No. Why would you do that to yourself? Don't let nobody sideline no. your salvation. That's right. right. No. Hallelujah. Thank God you. bless you. When you were working to deal with Satan and his principality and the rules of God, the Bible says I was wars against Satan now. Yeah. That's yeah. what he said. Yeah. Then how come if somebody ain't told the church? Yeah. They still fight with each other. That's right. Amen. That's right. That's crazy. Tell it. Tell it. Preach it. He tell the word. Tell it. Let me tell you something. You see that word right there? I got preachers that call me on Saturday afternoon. Say, give me that word because I know you've been working on it. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I give it to them. They say, some preachers will tell me, you're crazy. I wouldn't give it to them. It ain't mine. No, that's right. It ain't mine. <coughs> and I know I can give it to mature Christians. Yeah, that's right. Especially when they know they ain't had time. But my iron shall shine. Come on. And when they 
gonna take it to their church, yes. then they're gonna have to be credited to me as pouring into them to pour into their church. That's right. But if you sit up in here, you close your ears and I'm preaching the truth. Right. You can't win no souls because no, you can't right. even let it restore yours. No, sir. Oh, oh, work it, work right. it. States. Amen. And the United States is playing. Mm -hmm. And it's in the Bible. Yeah. They're going to put a nuclear bomb on the United States. And man is going to have it hard. Amen. Yeah. And it's tribulation that's going to turn a lot of people around. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people won't listen to God walking upright. That's right. Mm -hmm. They got to get down on the bed. Yeah. They got to get down in tribulation. Yeah. Come on. Things got to be going all wrong. For people to dare to listen to God. Mm. Why has God got to knock people down mm. to get them to listen? And just as soon as he healed them, and they stand back up, they go right back to the bar. Right back to the bar. That's right. What's wrong with that? Mm. You can't make anything like that. My God. Now let me tell you something. I'm running with the horses. I'm running out of one door into the next door. Every door of God open for me, I'm going to try to open it. Mm -hmm. Because I'm going to go to heaven. Mm -hmm. God placed it in me. I see it. I know it. Mm -hmm. God ain't going to take me off this earth till I have proclaimed his Amen. gospel. Mm -hmm. But God also showed me something in Ezekiel 3, if you want to know where he showed it to me. Hallelujah. He sent a man of God to Israel. He said, they're rebellious. Mm -hmm. He said, they won't listen to me, they ain't going to listen to you, but you tell me anyway. That's right. He said, but when I tell you to shut up and you don't, I'm going to make your tongue clean to your mouth. Yeah. 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 That's right. Ain't going to clean my tongue to my mouth. Ain't going to clean my tongue to my mouth. But you know why? Come on. I'm going to shut up right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to shut up right now. Because I already know. Amen. I got some that say he don't take all that pastor crazy. Uh. <laughs> I got some that say he don't take all that pastor crazy. But when they call my pastor, pastor living a pretty good life. Mm -hmm. Amen. See, because it ain't about my money. Oh, no. Oh. It ain't about my body. Oh, no. Yes, sir. It's yes, what I'm seeing. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Right there. Amen. Right. He don't look at what I say with my mouth. Mm -hmm. No. Right? He look at what's coming from him. Yes, right. Because as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Work it. Hallelujah. <laughs> Listen, so what are you trying to say, preacher? Here's what I'm trying to say. If I'm not going to let the devil get in my way, I'm not going to let people get in my way. Amen. That's right. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. We got to do better. Mm -hmm. Amen. All of us in here need a savior. Yes. This is God's house. Yes. We ain't wholeheartedly thirsting and hungering after to do for God like He hungering to do for us. Yes. Every time I turn around, people talk about God show sure is love. Mm -hmm. Well, what in you? What is God in you? Yes. Did God That's quit right. being in love because He entered into you? He still got it. So if he's love and he's God and he entered into you, then he still should be loved. Amen. Right. Thank you. Well, I ain't got no business looking for no magnifying glass to see whether or not I can find the love. Mm. The love should be just running out That's right. all over the place. I shouldn't have to take a magnifying glass and let me see can I find forgiveness. That's right. <laughs> if God is forgiveness, it should be running out. Amen. Amen. When I look in the dictionary, thirst means to have a craving or a strong desire for something. Amen. Amen. Now, that's what it is in the dictionary. That's what it is. So I'm going to take the vocabulary, the vernacular of the dictionary, and I'm going to hold thirst in my hand. Because I'm holding it in my hand, does it change what the dictionary says? No, it don't. Put thirst right there. 
Because I put it right there, did it change what the dictionary said? No. It's still the same. Then how come all this stuff called the mercies of God is entering into us and coming out not looking like what God said it's supposed to look like? There's a strange metamorphosis going on somewhere. <laughs> and there's a change going on from the time God spoke it till it comes in us in. Mm -hmm. My ear gate right, right, right. comes out my mouth gate. It went in sweet as honey. Oh. <laughs> but when it comes out, it ain't coming out looking like what's on that page. Tell it. Come on, Pastor. Well, Pastor Judge knows. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, so it is. Because I'm a fruit inspector. Go ahead. And he said, I can know you. That's right. By your fruit. Amen. Amen. <laughs> I'm going to say it like that. I'm a fruit inspector. Don't come telling me you're no pear tree and don't see no pears. There you go. Ah. <laughs> then you going to have some cocker berries. Tell me you a piece <laughs> No, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm gonna tell you somebody messed you up. Amen. Cause you ain't no peace tree. You got cockerbird. Hallelujah. <laughs> 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 Here's what he told me when I see the sign that Jesus is on his way back. He told me to set up the sun when I was here together. He said, at least two of us walking together. Right. Mm -hmm. And then he told me to provoke you to look. Mm -hmm. He told you to provoke me to look. Mm -hmm. That's right. That was it. Do we know how to provoke each other to look? We ain't got no damn spot with each other. You know? No. We're no. supposed to provoke right. each other to look. Right. Because we shouldn't let our love be white and cold. Right. 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 Because Amen. our love is white and cold. We fall in the way. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's right. And the first sign that you're falling away from God is that you don't do what God do. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you must hear that. Lord. We'll do what God do. First sign you're falling away from God is you ain't doing what God told you to do. That's right. Then how you going to have a love for me if your love for him from white white's coat? Get away from me. Amen. You ain't got no love for God. You ain't got nothing for me. Amen. That's right. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Please move me. Please try to move. If God ain't there, I know. Oh, the first thing God is. Yeah. 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 You know how we've been getting along with each other? We might not be out there to the church down the street, but we what we are because we have shown each other. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we might not get it right the first 19 times. Come on. <laughs> but eventually we'll get it right. Yeah. Come on. Right. Amen. Right. Yeah. And we kind of look simple like we can be fooled. <laughs> but a lot of churches ain't been through what y'all been through. <laughs> That demon busted. A lot of churches ain't been through that. Mm -hmm. yeah, they ain't been through that. See, y'all have. Y'all have been down through the battle fighting demons. Yes. That I know because I was Amen. with you. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. A lot of churches speak about demons. Mm -hmm. We go right you. Oh, we go right you to fight something, you know. We, we got a track record. Uh -huh. You ain't gonna fool it for so long. Amen. Then we're gonna be ready for war. Yes. Thank you. We're gonna put out some churches. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we can't be put out of this one. Because this one is the one he gave us. So we're gonna defend. Yes, yes, yes. That's right. These rounds right here. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Come on, Pastor. Thank you, Lord. Now, let me explain something to y'all. Oh. My subject is this. He that has an ear, ear to hear what the Spirit 
the same. Of the Lord is saying mm -hmm. can become an overcomer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if your ears have not been sharpened enough to the word of God, your faith ain't even growing. Mm -hmm. If your faith is not growing, the spirit man in you is not growing. Mm -hmm. Because your spirit man is increased by the hearing of the word of God yeah. to increase your faith. And as your faith increases, your spirit man grows. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Too many people trying to be Christians without the word. Amen. You're making a mistake. Mm -hmm. You're making a great mistake. Yes. You better get that word. Yes, sir. Coach. If I got his word hid in my heart, sister, mm -hmm. guess who's sitting on the throne of my heart? Yeah. If his way, in the beginning was the word, the word was God, the word is God. Like, if, 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 I give you the word, mm -hmm. if, and you sit it on your heart, if God is in the word, what's on your heart? His word. His word. His word. His word. His word. His word. He is his word. He is his word. He is his word. So when God looks at my heart and see what I ain't, he says, I see myself. I see myself. Mm -hmm. Disobedience he can't see. No. He's safe. My Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Jeremiah 29 says, He says, Seek me. And find me mm -hmm. yes. when you search for me. Right. Amen. With all your heart. I'm going to end it right here. Mm -hmm. We are going into warfare <coughs> against Satan, the world, and flesh. Amen. We've been 73 years now into fighting the world, flesh, and Satan. 73 years, read generation and the victory. More prophecies are fulfilling now than they ever have because we're 74 years into the generation of the patriarch. So a lot of prophecies are opening up. Mm -hmm. Man is not prepared for the opening of the prophecies because they're still fighting with him. He's right to tell us. Amen. Mm -hmm. They're still fighting with the nomination of the doctrine. Mm -hmm. And who, who's right to 